What's up everybody? Russ with RWG Research, Quantum Gravity Research. So, check this out. Working on a filament extruder today. Um, what I'm going to be doing is actually making a corkscrew situation type device thingamabob. Um, currently going to be doing this a little different than what I originally imagined. But right now to wind a spool, it just winds however it fits. And if you haven't seen any of this stuff before, check out my website. I've been digging through, I'll put the links in the description, but I've been digging through all these belts and stuff and I've got uh, I've got all sorts of shavs and things and stuff and I've been trying to decipher how I want to do this. Now I do have this device, which is a nice uh, Acme lead screw style screw here. And I was going to use this and set up an oscillating system. Um, using a stepper motor and a driver and all sorts of fun stuff. Um, so I dug out some old uh, DC motors instead of a, a, a stepper motor, which would save some time. It would be easier to switch polarity and just make it work because it's not going to be dead perfect precise. It's just going to, you know, oscillate the winding so that the thing winds up. So I've been digging through all my parts trying to find uh, the proper things and I've come to the conclusion that I think what I'm going to do and what I'm doing right now, drawing, uh, basically drawing a corkscrew device. Uh, it's basically going to be the same thing that uh, that uh, Lehman or Lyman. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, uh, but he originally designed something, and I'm going to build it from scratch. I'm going to actually draw it and design it from scratch, but it's going to be a similar device. So I'm going to install this uh, install this uh, one-way bearing pulley on here. Okay, it's got a uh, it's got an interesting interlocking thing which might not be helpful but uh, it basically locks like this and uh, I'm going to have to remove and disassemble this entire thing because this uh, key stock is currently welded not real nice so I'm gonna have to take this apart from the back and uh, insert this on this side of that um, I was going to 3D print some gears, but I decided not to. I just dug through all my stuff and figure out what I got. So I'm going to be using one of these shafts right here. Um, and I've got different size pulleys that fit this particular belt. This appears to be a uh, 190MXL. So I'm going to be using um, one of these shafts and mount it up here so that my filament will come around here go up over top of this, go through my uh, oscillator here, and then wrap onto the spool. So that's where I'm starting, and we'll see where that takes me. Um, currently going to draw the corkscrew by hand in SketchUp, which is going to be interesting. And so I'm probably going to do some trial prints. I'm currently printing a cone-shaped device um, that's going to be mounted uh, on different size spools, depending on what I want to use. Now, originally I was going to use these big giant spools, but honestly, um, a batch run like this with a tightly wound coil is going to take, you know, between four to eight hours. It really depends. I'll have to really find out. Right now I've just been winding them loosely and it's, you know, about four to six hours I can fill a spool. So if I tightly wind it, probably take eight hours, which is, you know, turn it on when I get here, run it all day and monitor it. I don't trust it to run without being monitored. So... I have used up uh, almost all my plastic though, it's quite a lot. It's my first 18 pounds, I've just been using the heck out of it. So I'm going to take this apart now, and we'll go from there. Okay, dokie. So I pulled this out, <clears throat> successfully installed the uh, pulley on there behind the uh, key. Kind of silly. Here's what's inside here in case you're curious. It's just a, uh, a limit switch Okay, on this lever and an AC gear motor and that's it and a switch over here but uh, that's it that is the extent there's a filter here and a capacitor for the motor but um, pretty darn simple and there's a needle bearing right there and a lovejoy coupling it's a pretty small cute little lovejoy isn't it oh the lovejoy anyway success it wasn't too hard easy in case I need to flip it. Moving on. Alright, so the first part 
I printed this as a one piece part and it's actually movable inside of it so let's uh, let's see how well this turned out there it is perfect not too much slop one piece print awesome my strings are coming undone okay so here's what I have for you today it's a new day um, so I printed this out in one piece uh, my first one let me grab it uh, my first one decided to fail for some reason and you can see here that it uh, it got kind of like shifted and offset not so good but good enough that I could use it for a, a visualization test so the second one um, the first one printed really nicely on the bottom you know and uh, the second one well it didn't um, it kinda one end wanted to kinda melt fast got too hot I need to maybe put an external fan on cooling I might try that but the other problem I had was it started to peel off the bed if you look at it this way um, this side's actually a tiny bit um, bigger than this side All right, I know it's kinda hard to see but it is you can see this little lip you can see how it's squashed this side's nice almost over rounded and this one's kinda squashed so um, this appears to be like it will work just fine but um, I might try to reprint this. I might even try reprinting it in halves, but right there is a proof that it can be printed as a whole piece. These edges look pretty good um, considering the kind of mess that they look. Um, the edges look really good. So if you do it all the right direction, um, you'll only be facing these sharp points and it won't be a real big deal. Which is actually the direction that I'm running because I got arrows on the side here so we don't screw it up. Um, here's a assembled side piece. Um, I'll explain more of this later, but I do have an error on here so you don't get it wrong. So, slide rails turned out nice. So, when I get the rest of the arms pieces, we'll uh, assemble this bad boy.